maybe the expectations is it feel like the end of last year is gone? Uh, really, I think with the first day of practice, the uh, last year is gone. I know it may not feel that way for our fans. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to you know, resolve that for all of our fans whenever the first game is over. Defensively, how do you feel? It feels like there's a lot of holes to plug in right now. Uh, well, there's always a lot of holes to plug for the defense. You know, that's that's our that's our job. Uh, but uh, really, with our defense this year, I feel really uh, good with uh, the guys we have coming in. Uh, the guys that we already have there, I feel like there's a lot of guys that are really poised to do some nice things this year. And I really think we're going to be a lot more fundamentally sound and assignment sound, which is really going to you know solve all the problems. Yeah. Seemed like last year, Ian, there was just little things here and there that caused big problems for you guys defensively. Have you guys spent time maybe working with each other to kind of get that chemistry going so you can shore up those little things? Absolutely. We spent a lot of time shoring that up. Uh, we did a lot of work in the spring, the summer. We've all, uh, everybody has position groups, the defensive backs, uh, the linebackers, the defensive line. I uh, worked together. They did seven on seven. Uh, we watched film and worked with the offensive line of the tour. And, uh, you know, really tried to sew some things up there and really just try to prove yourself. That's really all you can do is when the next year rolls around, you really want to be a better player, a bigger, better, stronger player than you were the year before. And I think that's uh, what we've done. So we're, I think, we're ourselves in a nice position right now to continue working hard, getting better, and having a nice year. Is there one thing that the defensive unit worked on uh, this field that you progressed the most on the, in the offseason? Uh, really, I kind of feel like a, uh, an adage that goes around our program is do your job. And if you do your job, then everything's taken care of. The guy next to you does his job. And I think that's the thing we worked on is making sure that everybody really does their job. Your coach kind of got a vote of confidence with the contract extension. For you guys, this program, does it feel good to know that maybe there's at least the athletic department's kind of behind your coach, the system, what you guys got going? Yes, absolutely. Because I, I know the coach Brent has all of our confidence, so it's great to see the athletic department does. And I, I know uh, uh, Mr. Krause does. I think he's a, he's a great guy. He's going to be a good AD for us. And I think uh, he's uh, in, in the right for the way he did with the terms. Individually, you've had a great career, and but the bowl games, that sort of thing, maybe not not quite what you expected coming to K-State. Would you like to maybe this senior year, all the more inspiration? Trying to do something as a team? Yes, absolutely. We want to finish out on top. I mean, everything. You want to go to the uh, Big 12 championship, uh, do as good as you can there, get the win, uh, go to a bowl game, you know, all that. What constitutes a successful season in your eyes, in your mind? In my mind, what constitutes a successful season? Uh, you know, uh, playing in Kansas City. That's a successful season to me. Uh, you know, right now, I have no thoughts of 7 and 5 or 7 and 6 or 8 and 5 or whatever it is. That's not in my mind right now. Anything short of that is what? Well, I mean, that, that'll be a good turn when the season's over. But uh, successful to me is winning all the games. That's what you That's what you have to do. That's what you're supposed to do when we have a program. Yeah. Chris, can you talk a little about last year? It seemed like injuries, maybe especially in the secondary, were a problem at times. Guys kind of like beat up a little